Hey everybody, uh, Dave Acta checking in. Uh, I guess we're going to call this the hypocrisy trader report. Uh, most of us know about Keith Alexander here in the photo. We did some videos a couple of videos back. Uh, former four-star general for the National Security Agency, retired. All of a sudden, uh, you know, he leaves office one day, hangs up his uniform, next day files a bunch of patents. And what one congressman wrote a letter to the Patent and Trademark Office and said, this is a felony. This guy stole all his technology from the NSA. I didn't say that. This congressman in Florida said it. Now it comes out. Look at this. The chief technology officer, the CTO, has had a moonlighting contract working with Alexander 20 hours a week. But what are you doing, uh, Mr. Scientist, leaving the office with a briefcase stuffed full of uh, secret technology that you can give to Mr. Alexander, who, by the way, is going around charging companies a million dollars a month for cybersecurity protection. Now, here's the thing. This Keith Alexander likes to get up on the stage and be a moral hypocrite and say, you know, that, uh, that Snowden character taking secrets and blowing the whistle and making a public spectacle of the NSA, he's a traitor. He's a complete traitor. Really? Well, I kind of think taking secrets home in your briefcase and filing patents and charging people a million dollars a month for cyber protection and having the chief technology officer of NSA working for you while he's at NSA 20 hours a week, who are you trying to kid? Who's the hypocrite? Who's stealing the secrets here? Maybe Snowden stole some secrets, but he was a whistleblower. You're stealing the secrets and making a profit. You're a privateer. You're not a patriotic American like you portray yourself. I think this is why everybody is throwing up on these airplanes. I don't think it's a bull. I think they're thinking about Keith Alexander. Well, you know, what are you going to do when you have disgusting traders like this profiting and stealing intellectual property and then involving themselves in extortion against American corporations to get a million dollars a month or, oh, you might just have a cyber attack. Uh, and so it goes. Until next time, reporting in, this is Dave Acton.